Welcome back, Sixers fans. I'm not one to usually overreact. I understand that, you know, we are seven games into a season right now. I'm aware. That being said, I would love to just sit down and talk about Tyrese Maxey. Simply put, uh, I think Reese's PCs, Supermax, Mad Max, whatever the hell you want to call him, Tyrese Maxey has legitimate potential to become an NBA All-Star at some point in his career. He is the steal of the draft, in my mind, at 21, which I said the moment we drafted him. Kevin O'Connor had him as a top 10 prospect, so did Mike Schmidt. Tyrese Maxey is a legitimate, legitimate NBA player, and he has been one of the most impressive rookies this season already, seven games in. I'm not here to tell you that this guy is going to be a superstar. I'm not, I don't want to do that, but I would like to draw comparisons a little bit, and I would like to tell you what impresses me and what surprises me the most. I think originally I expected Tyrese Maxey to come in and provide backup support to shake Milton not necessarily be a secondary player but more of a third string option uh Tyrese Maxey's a very raw talent coming out of Kentucky that's kind of why he fell he's only 6'3 190 198 so 200 6'3 200 doesn't really have a big frame he is a very raw player prospect who just can't really shoot that was what he was in college very similar to De'Aaron Fox but the difference between him and De'Aaron Fox was Tyrese Maxey is not really a primary facilitator in Kentucky like uh, De'Aaron Fox was. De'Aaron Fox is the quickest guy I've, I've ever seen, <clears throat> excuse me, I've ever seen on a college court. Tyrese Maxey has elite quickness, but not uh, to the extent of De'Aaron Fox. They shot eerily, eerily similar from, the, the, from every aspect of the NBA court though. Three point uh, percentage was almost the same. Field goal percentage was almost the same. Free throw percentage was very similar. And they have a very similar game. De'Aaron Fox is a athlete. Tyrese Maxey is an athlete. But they are both very quick and crafty with the way that they drive the lane. They're not just jump out of the gym Zach Levine type of athletes. They are very, very crafty with their ball dribble, uh, ball movement, their, their, their dribbling, and the way they facilitate and uh, penetrate the paint. That's what makes them so similar to me. He showed that in Kentucky. And also he showed a lack of ability to shoot a three pointer in Kentucky, similar to De'Aaron Fox. That was De'Aaron Fox's big knock. Tyrese Maxey had the potential to be a top 10 pick. I think if you redraft it, he's closer to 10 than he is to 20. But what surprises me the most is Tyrese Maxey, has, his game has translated just perfectly in the NBA immediately, which is so impressive given the amount of time that he gets. He produces all game long. He is constantly a plus on the court. Defensively, his energy is second to none. The kid knows how to play defense. He played defense in college. It was underrated because he was more of a scorer and his defense is so good. He straps up second units as a rookie. Tyrese Maxey is a legit defender, and he's only going to get better. His on-ball defense is filled with energy. He has long arms, and he knows how to get into the passing lanes, and he plays defense well. Sometimes he has lapses on the defensive end that help defense, but that happens. He's a rookie. It's going to it's 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 go it's bound to happen, and he's going to get over it. I would rather see somebody become an elite. Uh, team defender after they already are an elite man defender. See, the difference between him and Thibault's defense is Thibault isn't a very good uh, primary defender on a dribbler. He tends to foul too much. He, tend, he tends to still make rookie mistakes, but Tyrese Maxey is not like that. Tyrese Maxey is a very good on-ball defender, not as much a help team defender, which comes much easier than vice versa. I am more confident in Maxi's defense becoming elite than Thibault's defense getting any better, if that makes any sense. And that might be blasphemous to you Sixers fans, but the devil is in the details. <laughs> He's averaging six points a game. 
about two assists and a rebound and a half. And he is just extremely talented at getting to the rim. I think against the Hornets last game was his coming out party. He had that steal on Malik Monk turned dunk, which is a veteran play. That was all him. Great defense leads to an easy transition dunk on his part. Yeah. Yeah, and the thing is, it's scary because he's only getting better. His floater is really, really good. It's the best part of his game, similar to the Aaron Fox coming out of college. And the thing is, Maxi's hitting 30% from three, and it's kind of falling. His shot's kind of falling. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I think his shot's good because I don't. I really, I don't. He needs to fix his legs when he shoots the ball because he's off balance every time he shoots it. But the fact that it is dropping is a really, really good sign as to what is to come. Tyrese Maxey is going to fix his shot. He's going to fix the way he shoots the basketball. And he's going to become good. Really, really good. Really, really good. And my thing with Maxey is he is a hard worker. His work ethic is crazy. This kid is going to become legit. I think it's going to be one of the best things that Philadelphia has done in recent memory. Is drafting this kid at 21. He's a combo guard who just has bought into the system perfectly. Perfectly. He's shooting like 42% from the, uh, the field, but he puts up decent amounts of shots. He's a rookie and he's seven games into his first NBA season after having a college year cut off. He's a great playmaker. He wants to get everybody involved around him. Energetic defender. If I, I said this when the Sixers drafted him. I may have even said this as my pre-draft video, if Tyrese Maxey was three inches taller, he would be a top 10 pick, arguably a top five pick. He's 6'3", 198. He's undersized as a two guard, not really a point, point guard, but he's really kind of shown the opposite. He's been nothing but impressive. Nothing but impressive. On every, every time he's on the court, there is something to marvel at. This kid is, what, 19 years old, and he's doing this? And he's playing at this high of a level on a legitimate team, getting legitimate minutes. He's a big reason as to why the Sixers are as good as they are right now. Tyrese Maxey has all-star potential. He's been one of the best rookies in the NBA right now. When it comes to value, at the 21st pick, he's been legit. Which is funny because at 20, Preston Chua, he's been really good. Miami and Philadelphia knocked it out of the park. Peyton Pritchard's been really good for Boston at, what, 26 or 28? Boston knocked it out of the park. This draft has been showing everybody who said anything about it right. It's been proving everybody right. At the top of the draft, maybe the town isn't, you know, super legit. But there is a lot of really good talent at the bottom. And Tyrese Maxey leads the charge for that argument. He's been incredible. From the moment the first preseason game happened, you knew something was different. The way he controls the offense, the way he controls the flow of the game when he's on the court. But at the same time, when he's on the court with Ben Simmons, he understands, all right, I'm Tyrese Maxey. That is Ben Simmons. Let him do his thing. I will spot up to be a shooter. And he knocks it down. He went two of three last game. If he... If Tyrese Maxey can shoot 35 to 40% from three on the year, he will be getting insane minutes. Insane minutes. And they'll be well-deserved minutes. He doesn't turn the ball over a lot. He averages less than a turnover per game. I kind of want to check out his P, uh, per 36. Per 36, he's averaging 15, 4, 3, and over a steal. The kid doesn't foul. He averages two fouls per 36 minutes. Which means he's a good defender that doesn't foul. Which is very... That's like an anomaly when it comes to rookies. That's not what rookies do. Rookies foul. Ask Matisse Thibel. That guy still fouls. And my thing with Tyrese Maxey is he's a baller. When it was him in the second unit in the fourth quarter, he understands my turn my turn to go out and get it this is my opportunity to go out and get it go out and get my bucket I love that I love that confidence that's exactly what he needs to have it's that mentality that he has that's going to make him 
elite. And I'm proud and I can confidently say that I think at some point at this kid's career, whether it's next year, two years from now, six years from now, Tyrese Maxey will be an all-star. Philadelphia knocked it out of the park with that one.